I want to show the latest version of my Olydom tool. This uh, new version here is able to handle XML files that contain embedded uh, OLI objects. So previously I've shown how we can analyze XML files that contain uh, VBA macros. And this time I'm going to show uh, XML files that contains OLI objects. So I have a sample here. It's actually the same sample as I showed in a previous video, but there uh, we analyzed the sample manually and here we are going to do it with uh, OLE dump. Okay, so you see this time OLE dump detects in the XML file an OLE data.mso file and uh, this file contains one stream. It's not uh, too big. So let's have a look to see inside the stream and have an ID what we can expect. So let's do a hex dump. Okay. So here you have 0, 0, 16, 0, 0, 0. Okay. And here 7, 8. Now 7, 8 here, that's interesting because this can be the start of a Zlib uh, compressed data stream. The 8 can indicate that it is uh, compressed with a deflate method and the 7 indicates a 32k uh, window that was used for the compression. So 78 is uh, a value that we, you will often find with Zlib compressed streams. So I added a new feature to OLEDUMP that will search for possible compression inside the stream and then try to decompress it. So here this uh, decompress option will make that we will search for that 78 byte and then decompress uh, the stream that starts there. So let's try this. And indeed we have success. The content is decompressed and uh, when you see this sequence of bytes here, you recognize doc file. So the file that is embedded here is uh, an OLE file. So since that's the case, we can pipe it into a second version of a OLE dump. But now we don't want the xdump, but we want the raw data, so we're going to dump it. Okay, and uh, this embedded OLE file, it uh, contains another embedded object. We can see that here with uh, OLE 01 native. So let's uh, select this stream and look at the information. Okay, so it is uh, a file with extension VBS, so it's most likely a, a VBS script. The size is not uh, too big. Let's uh, extract it and have a look. And indeed, it is VBS script. This is uh, it looks like base64 and uh, the function name here, base64 decode, uh, is a strong indication that it is indeed base64. So let's try to uh, decode this. So first I need to select the line. So we are, I'm going to do that with PCR regrep. And I'm going to select the string like this. So I want to start with double quote, then any sequence of characters and a closing double quote like this. Okay, so this gives me the strings. I'm only interested in the first string. So let's do a head. Okay, this is uh, the first string. 
Now we cannot yet pipe this into base64 to uh, decode this because we have the double quotes. Let's uh, remove them with uh, translate. Like this. Okay, and now I can pipe this into base64 to have it decoded. Okay, and we can see that once more a command line is started that launches PowerShell that downloads a file from here, saves it as a cap file, expands it as an exe, and then executes it.